What is up, everybody? Welcome to Draft Sharks. It is your boy Herms on Twitter at Herms NFL. And today we will be profiling two lane running back Ty J Spears as one of the most exciting prospects in this 2023 NFL draft class. A lot of people are really stoked about Ty J Spears, and you can count me in as one of those people. If you want to do some additional reading after this video, you can go check out my full dynasty fantasy football value profile that i did for him over at draftsharks.com and guess what i've put the link there for you in the description so you don't have to travel very far and work that hard to find it and also if you're just curious about where me and the rest of the draft shark staff have ty j spears ranked relative to some of these other players in this 23 class our dynasty rookie rankings are available on the website for you to check out for free which i also went ahead and linked in the description for you so you have all those options available to you but instead of plugging all the stuff you can find on the website let's focus on the matter at hand this is a video about ty j spears Five feet, 10 inches, 201 pounds, the red shirt senior out of two lane. I feel very confident that he's going to be able to secure round three or round four NFL draft capital. He is a fast guy. He accelerates and gets up to full speed very quickly, and he plays with a great amount of physical pliability. And if you're not familiar with what that word means, it's basically just fancy talk for saying he is super flexible and super bendy with his frame. When he gets out into the open field, he's able to slip tacklers in very creative ways and avoid contact that way. But some of the issues that come with that in his overall play style are the fact that he does this with a very wiry frame. You'll notice just by watching him that he has very, very skinny legs, which ordinarily I wouldn't care about, but he does have a history with some ACL injuries that we'll go over a little bit more in the next section. And on top of that, he didn't play at a super high level of competition in the American Athletic Conference we'd have a better sample size of understanding of how good he is if he had played in the SEC, if he'd played in the Big Ten or something like that. But he did have a really effective bowl game against USC recently, so that does alleviate some of those concerns. But all in all, I compare Tajay Spears to Gumby. <laughs> That's the fun little player comp that I put in there. I have an actual NFL player comp coming later in the uh, later on in the video, but I just wanted to start out with a little bit of fun. But let's dive a little bit deeper into Spears's past. He was a three-star high school recruit coming out of high school about an hour north of new orleans he grew up a very very big saints fan idolized reggie bush as a kid and look he was a very good running back early on in his career didn't really play a ton in 2019 and was actually really good when he got the opportunity in 2020 he recorded back-to-back -back games of over 100 rushing yards but unfortunately he tore his acl early in that season and missed the remainder of that year and I go in depth on the Draft Sharks website in his profile talking about the fact that it was a very long road back recovering from that ACL injury for Spears to the point where he contemplated quitting football altogether. But it's a good thing he stuck it out because he really, really came back with a bang. 2021 saw him kind of get off to a slow start but by the end he recorded 747 of his 863 rushing yards over the final six games and in 2022 look you can see it on the screen right there almost 1600 rushing yards and 21 total touchdowns spears exploded man and also fun fact those 21 touchdowns tied with pit running back israel abanacanda another running back in this class who i did a video on not too long ago if you want to check that out too tied for best in all of college football last year. So we know that this guy's a big play machine. He's absolutely incredible. And also you can notice here that he's pretty good as a receiver here too. Ty J Spears is a very effective pass catcher out of the backfield. And I think given his size and stature, that's probably going to be closer to what he does at the NFL level anyway. And you know, let's just take a look at some of the stuff that he can do as a runner in the open field. This is one of my favorite highlights that I have pulled up that I included in his profile. Just look at how quick he's able to just elude that tackler and keep himself upright and going. Like, he changes directions very quickly. You can see the fact that he gets up to speed extremely quickly as well. And he's just overall very, very impressive. This is somebody that I am very thrilled about, but a little bit nervous about if we're going to give him a heavy workload. 
like I said earlier, kind of a small frame, very tiny legs, barely over 200 pounds. And when I was trying to come up with a player comparison for him, I definitely struggled a little bit. And this isn't the most perfect comparison in the world. If you have a better comparison, definitely let me know in the comments on this video. But he reminded me a lot of what fantasy managers wanted Chase Edmonds to be. Now, I know a lot of people were very disappointed by what happened with Chase Edmonds after he signed that deal with the Miami Dolphins last offseason, kind of washed out, got traded away to Denver. But the Chase Edmonds that we saw with the Arizona Cardinals was an insanely good complimentary back in that backfield was also very quick with his acceleration, serving as a pass-catching compliment to players like James Conner. So when I say Tajay Spears reminds me of Chase Edmonds, I say the Chase Edmonds that we really wanted out of Chase Edmonds. <laughs> I don't know if that makes a ton of sense in the world, but what I am really getting at here is that Tajay Spears will very likely be a dependable PPR option for your fantasy teams as a part-time 1B pass catcher in a running back by committee at the NFL level. I think he has all the skills to do it. And assuming that a team doesn't, you know, get him, you know, banged up with huge workloads, especially between the tackles, it'll be able to preserve his health a little bit better. And to that end, I think that this is a player you should definitely take confidently in the mid to late part of your second round in your rookie drafts in your dynasty leagues. But that's all the time that we have today to go over this player. But we have plenty more coming up very, very soon. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you like what you heard, then go ahead and give us that thumbs up. It would mean a ton to us. And until next time, it's your boy Herms saying thanks for swimming with us. Adios. Adios.